Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria. When we last left off, I forget because it was a while ago. I said I was like three weeks ahead. It turns out I massively miscalculated them. Uh, just over two weeks ahead. Well, that's not massively miscalculation, I guess. Anyway, I'm coming back to this. I, I still have a week of, roughly a week of videos. Uh, it is the 15th for me today, just to give you a bit of uh, an idea. I, lo I love my yo-yo so much. Anyway, things that I want to talk about, things that I want to do. I have I have some plans, but they're not like major plans. So I'm I'm happy to do some recording. You guys still haven't caught up, so you haven't given me any good advice. That that sounds like an insult. I mean, is any advice you give me doesn't apply. So the first thing I want to address is some of the advice you've been giving me to increase the sensitivity of my precision cursor so that I can aim better and faster. Well, I'm here to tell you, I have no idea where you got the idea that that can be done from. Because that does not exist in any version of Terraria. Yet so many of you tell me to do it. It's, it's not an option. It's not an option. This only displays the controls. But even in the main menu, it... You don't have the option to do that. And it's not like it's a console specific thing, like PS4 and Xbox One. Maybe the Xbox One has the option to do that. They don't. It's not like it's a console thing and the PC can do that. The PC obviously doesn't have that because the PC doesn't use a controller. So I, I'm not sure where you got the idea that that could be done. Anyway. That's about all I want to talk about on that. I'm using yo-yo. So, hey, the traveling merchant arrived. Uh, let's look at some of the stuff I've been doing off camera. So, I made a crystal farm that you guys know about. And it eventually just became like a, a chaos elemental farm, I guess, to try and get the chaos rod of discord. Because... Crystals are useless to me in uh, this version since I can't get crystal furniture and I spent so long getting crystal stuff. Um, also for source of light, which is good. Then I made a absolutely terrible grinder, not grinder, a, a soul of night farm over here, which was honestly terrible. But then I improved upon it by going to the dungeon, defeating the dungeon skeleton. Going all the way down. Look at this dungeon. Look how far down this goes. It goes all the way down to the underworld. Look at that. Um, and in here, I made a much better corruption farm by placing in some corrupted blocks. So because of the high rate of spawning enemies in the dungeon and the corruption blocks here, I got so many souls of night, which is handy for uh, something that's coming up. Uh, I also found a bunch of stuff, and let's look at some of the rare loot that I got. I managed to get uh, a crystal vial shard from a hallowed mimic. We'll test that out, I guess. I managed to get some armor polish. I actually have got, gotten probably about 15 of these now. But I got armor polish. I caught a truffle worm, and most importantly, I got a rod of discord. Yes, it took a long time, but I got a rod of discord. I also beat the twins, so I can open up this uh, treasure bag, I guess, to see what we get from that. How did I beat the twins? Well, I improved my setup. Over here, you may be able to see, my new and improved um, railway. I'm going the wrong way. So basically, what I do is, if I ride around on this at maximum speed, the twins cannot catch me. And now I'm able to just rain down arrows on them, Without them ever hitting me. Well, actually, they hit me a few times. But they don't really do that much damage. And I can constantly, constantly fight them. Like this. How cool is that? So that works. So I basically beat the twins uh, just to test it out. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. I could improve it a little bit by reducing the length and the height slightly. But whatever, it works. That's... All that is important. Get you. Uh, let's open the treasure bag. Ooh, we got the twins mask. I don't know if we got that before. So I'm, I'm actually happy that that happened. Let's put it in this chest. Uh, boom, boom, boom. No, I want the rod of discord. That's going to get locked into my... Quick select thing, I guess, because there 
Click. There and there. That feels about right. That feels about right. But it's good to have a rod of discard back. Uh, ooh, let's suck this back in. Anything else? No, I told you I got the truffle worm. Uh, these are all resources and stuff I got. Oh, I went over to my... Unicorn farm. And I fought enough unicorns to get uh, nearly 2,000 more holy arrows. We have a ton of money on us. A platinum coin and beyond. Uh, let's put that away. And you can see how much money I have now. Is uh, a fair amount. We've got 11, nearly 12 platinum coins. And that is from uh, doing all the grinding that I've been doing. Taking an excessive amount of time. Let's look at this crystal vial shard. Yeah. Interesting. It doesn't really bode well for a magic weapon when it doesn't um, have the ability to kill a slime very easily. Now, admittedly, I'm not using magic oriented stuff, but still, it's, it seems kind of poop. Whatever, I'm going to put it away like uh, this. And then, oh yeah, uh, I built more houses over here. So I built this, and I think these, I can't remember. So we get some more people to move in. And luckily we got the uh, die trader to move in, and I brought across all of my dies from the previous world. Here, look. So we can actually go, go and get some hard mode exclusive dies, hopefully. So we'll trade all these in and see what crazy kind of dyes that we can get. Which is something I'm you know, looking forward to actually be able to dye our armor. We've just got the steampunk to move in. Steampunker to move in. Who has uh, very important things that we may buy at some point. But for now, let's just talk. Oh, traveling merchant. You got anything? You got anything interesting? Uh, I do want that because I don't think we've had it. Don't think we've had that on this this playthrough. Anyway, you give me loads of cool dice, please. Am I out? Okay, I'm out. Cool, we got tons of dice. Let's go and investigate what these things are, shall we? Hopefully these are kinda cool. So yeah, I made this one chest a different colour because I'm going to be dumping special things in there. Uh, that's my fishing stuff. And all these dyes are going to go in there. Also, I, found, I finally got the extendo grip from the Traveling Merchant. So I'm going to take that back to my overworld and make the multi-tool. In fact, I might bring them here to make it to show you. But it won't be just yet. So let's do two things. Number one, let's zoom right in. To see what we look like. Number two, let's take off these dyes. So I'm liking this one, which is the glowing mushroom dye. We also have acid dye. Okay. Oh, I like the acid dye. I do like that. Okay. We also got reflective metal. I've been told before that I need to walk around. Nope. Walking around makes absolutely no difference. Well, I don't like reflective metal. Living Ocean. Oh, I like that one too. Some of these are really cool. I think the ones that have like little twinkle stars on them uh, have movements attached to them. So the Acid and the Living Ocean. Negative. I think we've had this before. Sure. Shadow die. Is this the blackest black? Yep, that's the blackest black. I kind of like that, actually. Living rainbow die. We've got nine of them. We could do everything. Look at that. That is insane. 
I can't believe we've got nine of it. Reflective copper. Uh, again, walking around doesn't make any difference. Okay. Ooh, living flame die. That's kind of cool, actually. I do like that. I, I like that as living flame. Let's put it on the wings for a second. I like I like living flame as well. And another special one, blue acid. Okay, I see. I see. Oh, that's good. Phase die. Ooh. That's interesting. That's like a side to side. It's like I'm being teleported constantly. Hmm, I like I like the phase die. Six of these shifting sands. I quite like that one as well, look. Quite like shifting sands die. Um boom boom boom. Boom boom. We got glowing mushroom die, which you already had, so we've got nine of that. Burning Hades die. Okay, this sounds cool. <gasps> we have like flame effects coming off of us. It just looks like trash. Oh, I hate it. And it sounded so cool. Chlorophyte die. Okay. Let's put it on our shoes. I kind of like it, I kind of like it. It's not bad, not bad. And then we got, ooh, gel dye. Oh, so we're getting all gelled up. Look, it's like a pulsating gel around us. That is gross. I like it, but it's gross. Twilight dye, that sounds cool. Doesn't seem to do anything. Oh wait! Oh, when we move around, we get like special things. That's weird. I like it, but at the same time, I don't because it's gonna get so confusing. I'm gonna be like, "Where am I?" In the middle of a fight, I will lose myself. And then finally, reflective gold. Which again doesn't seem to change anything. I was told that with the metal dies, if you move, it makes them look different, but. Seemingly not. Okay, well, those are all the dies, and honestly, I like. The look. I know I've taken my mushroom die off, it's okay. Um, I like the look of them. So, yeah, we'll definitely be doing something with those at some point. In the meantime, what more can I be doing? Well, I've been doing a lot of farming, as you can tell by all the money and stuff we have, and during that farming, I specifically went and got several items, those being vertebrae, so I made a vertebrae farm in a crimson another world. Iron slash lead, uh, so I went mining in another world and Souls of Night, which I obviously I showed you my farm here. And with all of that, I've managed to get all of this. So there are 600 vertebrae. Uh, there are over 600 bars, but we need 500. And we have over 600 Souls of Night. What can we do with all of this, I hear you ask? Well, interestingly enough, what we can do is make... 100 mechanical worms. Or slightly less. I apparently miscalculated at some point. 20, 20, 20, 18. Why am I missing two? I didn't bring enough iron. Iron? No. Five iron. Six. Five. 
That's enough for 99. Oh well, uh, I do have enough for 100, I just need to take the rest out. I wonder why it stopped making me one, one, one short of what it needed. Anyway, uh, boom, 100. So why did I just make 100 mechanical worms? Well, I'll tell you. I want to fight 100 mechanical, uh, 100 destroyers. Because then we get 100 loot bags. And what do we get with 100 loot bags? Well... We might get some developer items. So at a, a at a drop rate of five percent, we should get twenty. Is that right? Over hundred? No, we should get five. <laughs> what am I on about? At a drop rate of five percent, if we fight a hundred battles, we should get on average five developer sets. Now while it's not important since I have wings and stuff, I want to do this because it means we will get Potentially, a brand new custom outfit, unique to us, because we can mix and match developer stuff. And that's what I really want to do. So, we're not going to be able to fight 100 uh, destroyers in one night. But we can do is maybe fight 10 per evening. And I could put a fast forward on it. And then once I have all 100 destroyers defeated, open all 100 bags at once in like a special video and be like, hey... Look, here's what you get over 100 bags. I think that would be pretty freaking cool. Also, at some point, I really want to hammer out all of this background walls and put some play placed ones just so I don't have stuff spawning in my house. I know it's not really a house, it's the most basic of bases. <laughs> but it will do, it will do. Um, so I was, I was thinking of like cutting out all the days and just have the nights in an episode, but then it occurred to me, you know, what we might get is like a Goblin Army or a Solar Eclipse or something. I want to keep those in because um, you guys have mentioned Goblin Army now has new enemies. And the Solar Eclipse, I'm assuming, will also have new enemies in it as well. You guys haven't mentioned that, but it would make sense in an update of this size for there to be new enemies in that. So yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that. Oh, I can't believe all those dies, but yeah, uh, so I'll, oops. Let's put away most of these things, because we're not going to need all of these, are we? And then, in fact, most of this can just get trashed. Uh, quick sec. All right, bye, 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 bye. Uh, I think that's going to do it. It's, I want to say it's been a short episode, but it hasn't. It's been like a, a an average length episode. It just means we haven't actually done much apart from really, you know, open uh, strange die bags and recount what I've done while I've been gone. But when we come back, I do have a plan. We are going to go down to the jungle and we're going to try to get some life roots. That way to get us up to max health. And then on the evening... We're going to try and fight a bunch of destroyers. For now, though, thank you very much for watching. Tune in next time for all that. Keep your suggestions coming in. Keep your ideas coming in. Keep your comments coming in about stuff I should be aiming for. And I'm not going to get too far ahead, like I say. I'm going to basically right now get life through fight destroyers. And that's, that's generally my goal. And no. That's that. For now, though, goodbye.